Now guys, why automatic transmission kick? The main reason. As a rule, most often, a car with the automatic transmission begins to twitch, jerk and bumps occur when shifting gears. Less often, transmission can be tight. There is delay in switching, so color slipping occur. First reason, it's oil or a tough liquid. Since the oil works for us, it hits up to high transmission. Over time, it loses its properties. Roughly speaking, it can no longer effectively transmission target from the transmission engine and further to the wheels. This happens due to the fact that the required viscosity is lost. That it is either thinking or on the contrary became thinner in different automatic transmission in different way so much for jack and jack when shifting therefore in order they restore the working capacity of the fluid change the oil is mandatory at the maximum after 60 hundred kilometers better more often 40 50 hundred kilometers second reason oil filter the second most common reason for the jerking of the machine. The sin is that the filter element is also an important part of the automatic transmission. It catches all the dirt and chip that in the any way appears inside. From time to time it clogs up and the oil cannot longer pass through it with the same intensity. This result in a lock of lubricant pressure which leads to improper appearance of the friction discs they simply don't stop at the right moment they don't curry as they sh uh, as they should they slip and it's from this that the jolt in the gear change are manifested by the way they can also burn well if we are already talking about friction clutcher then we need to continue just about them. This is the kind of clutcher in the machine. They either shrink, stopping one or another gear inside, or unclinch, realizing the desire, one in motion. When the pressure drops, the clutcher cannot compress effectively. They begin to slip again each other and burn banally. This makes the oil black or smell burnt. If the friction discs are worn out or burn out, then the gears cannot stop or start at the right time. Thus, when shifting, you will feel that your transmission is jerking or jerking. It's not uncommon that the gears may not engage at all, or when the car is put into neutral, the car continues to move. This tells us that the discs are stuck together. A replacement is needed. Guys, the breakdown is already much more serious than the first two. You need to disassemble the automatic transmission and repair it slowly. The fourth reason, oil cooling radiator. We all know that the oil cooling radiator is required in an automatic transmission. It's instantly in order to remove excess temperature inside to cool the lubricant that has warmed it up from the target converter. Without it, the active fluid would quickly burn out and curl up, which would practically kill the automatic transmission from the inside. Therefore, it's mandatory. However, many of you and I change the lubricant on a higher pressure washer that the system is put in a gap between the radiator and automatic transmission, and all dirty oil is squeezed out under pressure and new oil is poured in but as a rule neither the filter nor not the box pan is washed and all the dirt that is set at the bottom rise and clog everything that's passable this is again the same filter radiator valve body solenoids and so on the radiator has smell pipes they are clogged at once the circulation of the liquid does not occur. It heats up, burn very quickly. That's the reason for you. Five reason, oil pump. Rare, very rare, it fails. 
but it's worth nothing that there are two types of installation. Immediately behind the valve body that's attached behind it. It's located at the bottom in the pallet and unlocked from the shaft by chain drive. The task is one of the create a fluid pressure which is transmit to all important components. If it fails, I emphasize once again I happens extremely rarely because as the design is simple and durable, then pressure will not be created and accordingly jerk and jerks and so on. Sixth reason, valve body and solenoid. The valve body are also colored. The hydroplate is almost the brain of the enter machine. In the block is cut in half to the upper and lower parts, then you can see a lot of small channels through which our ATF fluid actually flows. So if the channel in the valve body became clogged, then the pressure will not be enough and the friction disc will not be corny. Again slippage and jolt. Valve body contaminate can occur from not timely or change, as well as uh, from a pressure chain when you pick up all the dirt. To put a rough each channel leads to the own gear, it's surplus the oil pressed and the clutches are compressed or unlocked. But that's not all, they are combined with the valve body. Solenoid are special valves that either close the channel or open them at the right time. In fact, these are coils to which voltage is applied. The rod either goes out, the channel is closed, or comes into the voltage gaze away. The spring squeezes it back. Thus, fluid pressure is supplied only to the gear that the current needed. What to do? You need to remove the voltage valve body disassembling and clean it. Then, check the solenoids.